Hi, in this video, we will discuss about alignment label style, properties and some different option. And also we will explain how we can export different type of alignment report. So for this purpose, we can see here we have the different type of curves and lines. If you want to do some changing or setting as I explained also in the previous video, you can go to geometry editor. So from here you can see that you have this so from here you have different type of option insert pa delete pa and also lines and curves you can just edit and you can also pick the entities so you have this option it's called alignment grid view if you click on this alignment grid view you can see all the details and all curves here number one line number two curve number three line number four curve so if you want to change the alignment uh, Curve line radius from here, you can easily change it from here. So as per your requirement, you can do some changing. You can see this length clockwise and degree of curvature. If you want to do some these basic settings, you can easily change it from here. But we don't need to change it, we will discuss it. So once you click it, first of all, we need to right click. And when we do right click, we can see different type of option. Also, when we select alignment, we can also see the all option here in query editor, property, object viewer. We can see alignment property, edit alignment geometry. If you click here, you can see alignment property, alignment style. So once you click an alignment property, then you can see different type of option. If at the start, you forget something. So now you can do the same change here. So here you can provide the alignment name, station control. You can control the station from here, from where to where is your alignment if you want to make it less or increase you can just easily control it from here where is masking and here is the point of intersection points you can see here by change in alignment direction by individual curves and curve group don't display implemented don't display implied points of intersection and here's the some editing option and here is the design criteria this is the important parts if you want to change some design criteria from here, you can easily change it from here as I, as, as I explained in the start. So you can also change from here different type of design standard and also you can change the speed. If you want to make it 80 km per hour, you can just select 80 km per hour, apply and OK. You can just change it. But once you click 80 km per hour, some curves you will see the yellow icon so why why we are seeing this because the radius is problem so for this purpose you need to go to the grid view editor and you can increase this curve for example i am going to increase it to as per your requirement you can change it from here so how much and whatever you want you can easily change these curves from here so this one is okay now if you want to change it you can just change it from here you can just make it 300 okay now it's okay you can see that the yellow icon is going to okay remove you can just also select it here 180 so we just put it to 80 and this one is 260 you can see but it's not changing to 90 now you can see that all your curves radius is changed from here once you click here now you can see that your all radius curve is changed and also now we will just discuss about some other option right click and if you go to the property from the property you can right click and from here you can see that move to side you can move it to side alignment property once you click the alignment property are these detail we explained already and if you want to click again you can see here the alignment edit alignment style if you want to edit alignment style you can easily style from here but for this purpose first of all we will change the text style st for text style you can easily select st and once you press st this pop-up menu will open and from here you can just select any kind of text style whichever you want so you can just make it b and you can apply it okay so when the text style is changed, you can see that now we need to go right click, edit alignment style. When this box is open from here, you can change line color. If you want to change line color, you can just change the line from, from here. If you want to change the curve, you can change it from here. All these 
display you can change it markers design information so apply and okay now you can see that your curve line line is now red so if you want to do some again changing you can just select alignment property and from here you can change it is easily so go to alignment property and edit alignment style once you click here here you can see design markers display summary so you can check it from here so next right click and from here you can see the edit alignment geometry if you want to edit alignment geometry you can edit as i explained in the previous video you can just change anything from here if you want to change and next you can see that this is a pick of sub entity editor insert pi delete pi sub entity pick p sub entity delete sub entity you can easily do this changing as per your requirement and once you again select alignment and you can go to edit alignment label so this is the most important section edit alignment label here you have different type of labels for alignment you can change it and you can select as per your requirement which one you want to add so once you select for example i'm going to select this design speed and from this add button you can just click on add now it should be added if you apply now you will see at the top of the alignment the design speed so click on ok so next is if you want to change the increment you can change it for example i'm going to provide 25 meter and 12.5 meter is the minor tick so you can just apply now you can see that it's changing automatically so let me zoom it zoom so once you zoom edit alignment label you can see that this color is not looking good so for this purpose if you want to change the color or text size you can easily do it so you need to go to this small tag okay so by the help of these small tags you can change anything for the existing alignment which we draw successfully so double click on this small tag and click on this pen now you can see that this pop-up menu is open from here you can increase 2.25 and from here you can just change the color if you want to change the color make it for example this color yes let it okay and from here you can provide the black mask for the text so if you want to do some changing in the text you can double click on this three dot and you can add anything station draw station easting nothing if you want to change add something to this you can easily add from here so cancel now we need to click on apply then you will see that it will be changed automatically so here we have the information here we have the journal view you can select the standard text height as per your requirement you can select it here is the summary if you want to check any summary or behavior you can just check it from here so you can click on apply if you want to change that as uh, minor tick you can also check select and you can just check it from here and click ok and here is the station our slope design space station or slope just double click on the design you can see this is the design label double click and from here you can see the layout from the layout you need to change the color magenta okay the size is okay not bad apply and okay and apply and okay next is the speed is okay next is the profile geometry if you want to change the profile geometry the same process same method you can just change it from here very easily so kind of do this you can do your alignment setting and alignment edit alignment labels so now just check it for one thing is again for example if i want to move it or want to change the rotation angle i can easily change it go to the edit alignment label and from here you need to go to the major station double click double click on this one from here you can see that if you want to change this offset you can just change it for example i am going to provide 5 mm so it will go away from this alignment so as per the requirement you can adjust it from here and the next is the rotation angle this is on zero rotation angle if you want to make it on 90 you can just make it here you can see that it will be look like this 90 but uh, you don't need to change it apply and okay okay apply so now you can see that it will be changed automatically so here double click and from here you can just oh, this is the text height sorry 2.25 and here we have the rotation angle this is zero we will make it 90 okay apply and okay okay apply 
and okay now you can see that your text is look like this so if you want to change the offset you can also change the offset from here you can see that its offset is zero you can make it five so it will be more like this so if it make zero it will be like this if you want to change this 20 it will be look like this it will go far away from this alignment even you can make it 25 it will far away so apply and okay apply and okay okay apply now you can see that your alignment is going far away from the center line so here is the profile code if you want to do some changing code and station you can also change code and station text height rotation angle each and everything you can change it from here okay so you click on apply and click on apply and okay now you can see that this is your alignment and it look like pretty good so for example if i am going to export this alignment report i can easily export it but first of all we need to take offset for this we have this another alignment which we recently created so for this purpose we will just generate the report if you want to generate the report go to the toolbox from the toolbox you can just go to the report manager and from here you can see the alignment okay reports then alignment from the alignment you can see here the alignment color reports alignment design criteria verification journal legal description increment station pi station stakeout set stakeout alignment station and curve so all this report you can generate easily for example i'm going to generate the curve report i will execute it and from here you can just ok and select the location where you want to add so just click ok you can just click on apply now you can see that your report will be generated successfully here and this is your all curve detail you can see it if you want to select control all it will copy and easily you can open it in excel and we are good format to represent to the client so next is the alignment design criteria verification general legal increment station report of which we get the coordinates so click execute and from here you need to select 25 meter as per the requirement you can take the changes so we have this all offset we need report for this apply execute so we just need to select the desktop once you select the desktop you can give it name 222 so just select apply and you can just create report once you create report this pop-up menu will open and here you can see station northing easting and tangent direction so you can just copy it or if you are going to generate the report you can copy and paste in the excel and prepare a good report so if you are going to save it so from here you can see different type of option as excel and as a word you can easily export as a txt also as a adapt pdf also very easily so as per your requirement you can get the format as per your system and software so click apply and now okay so same as it is you can easily create your points alignment points and you can make create it so for this one if you need a, a offset alignment you can just go and select offset alignment from here or you can go to select the alignment create offset alignment so select the center line once you select the center line now from here you can just 3.5 and you can add it 3.5 okay so i will just make it no label apply apply and okay now you can see that your alignment style and each and everything is created like this very easily so by the help of this if you want to do any work you need to add alignment from object you can just save it so once you save it now you can see that it will be look like this so if you need again another lane you can just go again to the create alignment and create offset alignment select the center line and here you can just provide 7 meter and 7 meter from the center line so okay now you can see that you have to carriage way so if you need here median you can also provide median as i explained in the previous video with very details so i hope this is helpful we will see in the next tutorial goodbye and take care